Hmm. Okay, we'll go. Um. Oh, come on, when you get serious. Give me a break, okay? I told you, these things take time. Gorge, is it just me? Or is this turning into a routine? Huh? Uh, what? It's coming from you, Sora. Huh? Oh, uh, uh, what's this? Not me, magic stop. But I don't know how. Maybe this. Hooray! He picked up. Huh? Dale. Hey, Chipper! I finally got him. Hurry up, Chip! Well, it's about time! Chip? You gotta answer the phone, Sora! Or we can't give you updates! We got lots and lots of important stuff we want to tell you! That's why we asked Master Yen Sid to make sure you got this gummy phone we made you! So we'd be able to stay in touch with you at all times! And it takes pictures! Oh, you finally finished it! Say, with this gummy phone, we can talk to each other across worlds. In fact, I might even try writing my journal on it. Wow, sounds like it's pretty handy, guys. So, what's so important? This, back when you and Riku quested through the sleeping worlds, Riku recovered some secret research data that Ansem the Wise hid inside you. Ansem's code! has been encrypted, so we've only deciphered some of it. Huh? Oh. I guess we haven't spoken since the castle. I'm Ienzo. Alias is here too. Alias. Whatever's between you and Roxas, it's in the past. <sighs> Zora. The reason we're here is because you and your friends defeated our nobodies, thereby recompleting us. We cast off our hearts by choice, make no mistake, but we didn't know that Xemnas, or rather, Xehanort, was deceiving us. Huh? Xemnas? Oh, he's with them! Not anymore. Xemnas and Xehanort have no hold over us now. We're just students of the heart. Exactly the same as we were before all of this began. Yeah, right. Hmm. But you know, now that I think about it, Axel's on our side now. Uh. We have friends we want to bring back to this world just the same as you. To do that, we have to work together. In that spirit, Sora, we found some intriguing data in the bit of code we deciphered. Is it about me? Yes. In order to piece your memories back together, our teacher Ansem the Wise took a close look at your heart. And what he found is that your heart doesn't belong just to you. It doesn't? Gorge, you don't seem surprised. Yeah. Honestly, I suspected as much. There's another heart inside mine. I think it's Roxas's. Just like Namine is still inside Kyrie's. Interesting. Well, no one knows your heart better than you. To be honest, we still have a plethora of questions on our side. But the idea has merit. It's incredible enough that you and your nobody are able to coexist. If you share a heart, no wonder someone as remarkable as you caught Ansem the Wise's eye. We'll keep investigating based on your hypothesis. I'll be in touch. Okie dokie, we'll give you fellows a ring if there's anything else. Remember, me and Chip, the guys at Radiant Garden, and King and everybody are never far away. And Jiminy, would you do us a favor? Teach Sora how to use the gummy phone? Leave it to me. I have
have to find Roxas and save him. The others are following Aqua's heart. So I'll follow Roxas' heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust the guidance that your heart gives you, Sora. That's what Master Yen Sid said. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts 3. That was a very interesting start and of course we finally get to see the game's title. That's kind of late into the game but that's fine. <laughs> Alright, very interesting. Now that we have a smartphone, I was wondering how in the world did, uh, are we supposed to do the selfie stuff. Uh, I've been trying to figure out since the beginning of the game. Apparently it has to be unlocked. Uh, just like many other things. Anyways, um, interestingly enough, um, Chip and Dale got a lot of dialogue this time round um, compared to the la old games where Chip and Dale didn't even have voices. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a strange feeling, but that's fine. It's all, you know, daddy. Okay, so um, I, I don't know about this um, concept of having gummy phones uh, i don't know it's an interesting way to communicate i suppose but considering that the organization had way advanced technology with stuff like they can even examine a person's heart and all this you would have expected phones to have existed long ago maybe in kingdom hearts 2 up to now i don't know maybe Ah, oh, well. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's always a nice uh, addition to have something in the game um, that makes things a bit more lively. That's why everybody has been going crazy with all the selfie photos in Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, well. So let's dive into the game and see what's next. Ooh, what's this? Oh, no! Voyage across the ocean between... Okay, it's another one of those gummy traveling things. Uh, press L1 or R1 to start traveling forward. What? Now we have to press to travel? Okay, press the button again to break. You can do a U-turn by pressing L3. Oh my goodness, I do not use L3 often. It's definitely going to be something difficult to remember. Travel more quickly, use a boost press circle to expand one unit of your boost gauge. Okay. Uh, attacking with the gummy ship, there are certain objects you can break open with attacks to clear a path. Or reveal items, press X or R2 to fire your weapons in the direction of the uh, reticle. Hmm. So, square to roll, that's fine. During your travels, you want to keep a close eye on these areas of your screen. Okay. Markers, HP, uh, boost gauge, dummy radar, that's fine. Okay, so... I have to say the music for the gummy travel is definitely a lot livelier. Oh my goodness. And definitely the surroundings look more realistic. Oh my goodness, I do not like the aeroplane. Um, oh crap! Controls. Um, prizes. You will sometimes obtain prizes or other rewards for defe defeating enemies and exploring the ocean between. They call it the ocean? We're in, the We're in space! Oh well. EXP prizes, HP prizes, uh, items, unique items. Okay, that's uh, easy to understand, I suppose. There's like a the whole Milky Way expediting travel. Want to get from point A to point B a little faster here? A uh, few ways. Nebula lights. Uh, enter the tunnel of light to race down it at high speed. You can exit the nebula line by pressing one or R. 
Uh, L1 or R1, boost spheres, boost rings. Okay, touch this for temporary boost. Oh, cool. Gummy battles. What? Watch out for heartless markers on the gummy radar. Approaching these will trigger battles, battle rules. The rules of combat vary from battle battle. Check the rules in the upper left of the screen when you start the battle. The stars on the heartless markers tell you how difficult they are. Okay. So this is the level 1. Okay, how do we do this? Battle controls and screen layout. L to move your ship. Score enemies defeated. Your battle rank. Cool. Okay. Where? Where are they heartless? Oh, there we are. Oh. Dang, did I just take damage? Oh, look out for the missiles! Can I hold? Yeah, I can actually hold the shoot button, so that's... And apparently there's some kind of a homing system. Oh, we ran out of time. Oh, cool. So, where in the world are we heading to? I don't know. Oh, okay, I finally see the target that we're going to. It's like that green dot. So confusing. Shouldn't have pressed the boost. Do you have missiles or anything like that? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> So I guess the concept of gummy battles is basically the more firepower you have, the faster you clear the enemies, the more they spawn, that does giving you more score. So it's pretty easy to grasp, I suppose. So I think we're heading that way. It's quite a distance though. Why aren't we moving? What's this? Treasure spheres. Contain rare items just waiting to be unlocked. Shoot the sphere to receive or activate it. Uh, okay. Oh, this thing. What? Oh, you gotta really, really attack it to unlock it. There we go. Are we missing anything? Come on, just a bit more. There we go. Woo! 
I have no idea what these are, but I definitely want the last one. Oh, they're gummy parts. Okay, at least, at least the gummy world now gives you a bit of a free roaming kind of experience. That's not too bad. But it really gets, you really need to get used to the, um, the aeroplane controls. I have no idea. Very, very cool. Oh, where are we going? Oh my goodness. Oh! Is that... Travis Town? Yeah, it looks like Travis Town. Oh no no, it's not Travis Town Twilight now. Ah, <laughs> oh, the wrong T. Oh, I have really bad memory of names, but yeah, that's th this is where Roxas comes from. Uh, or rather, we were introduced to Roxas uh, in Kingdom Hearts 2 or even in uh, the first game, Chain of Memories. Um, yeah, this is the town. Let's go! And I'm pretty surprised they didn't have any more variations of this loading screen. Would be pretty cool if they actually had more. Or if they actually made this into a real thing, you know. We forgot to fill Master Yen Sid in on what happened. Should we go back? Hmm. You mean about Maleficent and Zigbar? No. The others have already got enough on their plates as it is. Why go stressing them out? The three of us know how to handle a couple of old adversaries, right? Yeah, I guess. But doesn't that thing Pete said bother you? The black box? Come on, we're talking about Pete. That means it's probably no big deal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, cool! The trams are still here! So what? It hasn't been that long. No, it Feels has. like it. Maybe you're feeling what Roxas feels because he misses home. Mm-hmm. Actually, I ran into Roxas in the Sleeping Worlds. It was like seeing into his heart for the first time. And he was in the data scan too! Uh-huh. It was a test to see if your data version was ready to face the hurt that you carry inside. Was I ready? I do know hurt. When I lost Riku and Kairi, and later when I lost the Keyblade, and you guys had to go on without me like that? Having no one to turn to was the worst kind of hurt. But that just shows how much you mean to me. Carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. Hurting is part of caring. It sounds like Dinosaur again. Of course. Any Sora is still Sora. So wait. If Roxas feels something, then we're in the right place. Roxas, I'm gonna find you. Huh? What is that? Nobody's! <gasps> oh my goodness, they look so good. You want a blue glowing. Oh! Hey! Can we call our old friends again? Cool. 
Links are magical manifestations of Sora's friends that he can summon to his side. To use them, select Link from command menu. Links require a full MP gauge to use and they reduce your MP to zero. In exchange, the friend you summon will fully restore your team's HP. Oh, they're healers? That's handy. Press circle to bound into the air and inflate Meow, meow Wow one size at a time. Then press X to deflate and barrel into enemies. Okay! Here we go! Ah, that's so cute! Here we go! Bouncy, bouncy! Hey! Wow. <laughs> it's just total bullying. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this nonsense? Oh. Everything looks so wonderful. Oh my goodness. Twilight Town has never looked this good before. Well, not that I know of. I, I haven't seen Twilight Town since Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> or maybe I have played the previous um, smaller games, but it's just that I I've never I've never recalled seeing Twilight Town in this kind of a well, close to this standard of a. Uh, Beautiful rendition, I suppose. Let's do this, Goofy! And the no bodies look excellent! Oh my goodness. I love that glowing blue neon thing at the side. Once again, overkilling it. I really wonder how the attraction rights are decided. Hmm. What was that voice? I know I heard it. I didn't hear it. You sure it wasn't the wind? Or something else? I'm pretty sure. Where'd they come huh? from? Get the ice cream later! Oh. <laughs> what? Hold up! See? Voices! New ones? <laughs> what? Hainer? Pence! Olette! Oh boy. What is that? <laughs> hey, Sora! Hello, goodbye! Uh, oh. <laughs> Hello no. and goodbye. We got this. Alright, Sora hasn't seen the devil's wave yet. So uh, I guess this is the first for him. So this was the first ever trailer portion I suppose that Kingdom Hearts 3 ever got. Okay, let's get ready. I can't block? Okay, I guess I have to roll. Oh, I can actually run up this thing. Oh, dang. Thank you. Oh, dang. Let's go! Can we ride on you now? Oh dang! You see, not being able to recover in mid-air is really annoying. Yeah. 
I am pretty focused right now because this boss is kind of annoying. Where is it? Oh, dang it! Oh, I have Rage Bomb! Okay, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is doing so much more damage! I have no idea how am I targeting this fella. Oh, that finisher actually uses my HP. Oh, damn. Oh, I died. Oh my goodness. That was unexpected. Ooh, okay, so this boss is pretty difficult to handle. Um, I really don't know. Is there an easier way to do things? Anyway, let's retry this and see how it goes. Alright, let's do this again. Hopefully, we have a bigger idea on how to defeat this fella. Whoa. There you go. So we're going up. Whoa. This is not good. Thank you. Thank you. The structures are kind of a bit of a... I don't know, they're not helping at all? Oh, nice! I'm for some magic indeed! And there we go, we got a chunk of HP off from this fella. Oh dang! Going up. Oh yeah, I didn't think about lock shot until I accidentally pressed the button. <laughs> There we go. Later. 
did we do anything? This thing has so much health. Goofy, are you ready? Let's do this! Nice! Okay... Are they like... regenerating the ground? This is a very, very long boss battle, though. Okay, here we go. Battle take! Oh my goodness, is there a way to actually do this thing? Thank you! Oh man! as much as before. Oh man, the building blocked the entire spell! That is so disgusting! This is probably- what?! That wasn't even his full HP! Was I not supposed to kill it? Okay, that was rather annoying. And you guys didn't even help. <sighs> nice fighting. Thanks, Sora. Hainer, Pence, Olette, it's been ages. What? It hasn't been that long. Yes, Donald, Goofy, how are ya? We're good. Howdy there, Olette. So does this mean that weird stuff's going down again? You kidding, uh. Pence? When have we ever seen a tornado of shadowy blobs before? It's not weird. This is underprecedented. Hmm, I guess it is. The creatures from the last time were bright white. These things must be new. Man, I can't wait to get to sleuthing. We are already done with the school project, silly. Whatever's going on, you wouldn't be here unless you had a good reason. Which is? Well, actually, we're looking for Roxas. Roxas? 
That's funny. I don't know any Roxas, mm. but the name sounds familiar. Maybe we bumped into him somewhere. Uh, that's one way to put it. Actually, he might have been friends with another version of you. Hmm? This photograph. Yeah, we've got the same one. Oh yeah, the other Twilight Town. It's like one of those spot the differences puzzles, except really easy. I guess in that town, we're friends with this Roxas person. Sora, let us help you track Roxas down. <laughs> really? Sure, he seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Great, then let's all go ask around town. If alternate us knew Roxas, then maybe alternate other folks did too. Mm -hmm. Sora, you three should go to the place in the photo. It's the old mansion. The three of us will cover places in town. Thanks. Oh yeah, I got this phone thingy that takes pictures. <laughs> Wanna snap a photo while we're all here? Sure, that's a great idea. Hey, Alpha Selfie. <laughs> <laughs> who's taking the photo for us? Hmm? Wait, who's taking it? <laughs> oh. <sighs> exactly. <laughs> uh, why do I have to do it? Hey, tough luck. You drew the short straw. It's okay. I'm sitting out of the photo with you, Donald. Can you take the photograph? That's no one you know how to take a selfie. <laughs> yep. Wow. That came out great. Oh, a lucky emblem. Oh, lucky is that what emblem. it is? Oh yeah, they are huge right now. Supposedly, these things are hidden all over town. And if you get a picture of them, they'll bring you good luck. Cool. <laughs> Wait, look guys, is that... Uh, you're right. I see it too. <laughs> I knew it. Good luck, because they're not all this easy to find. We found a okay. few. We better start asking around. In other words. You start by checking out the old <laughs> mansion. We'll catch up. Got it. All right, taking photos. Okay, press the center controller button. Take out the gummy phone camera photos you take are saved to your album, which you can access by opening the main menu. Oh, I can save up to 100 photos. Okay, that's interesting. The gummy phone will automatically detect any lucky emblems or other noteworthy objects in the frame and display a hint indicator. Hmm. So it's got a bit of a face detector program inside it, I suppose? Cool. The neighborhood? Oh! This area has a name now? Let's see. Cool. Let's rotate and selfie with all the people behind. Hey, Donald. What? Can you take it? No, I haven't. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But the NPCs actually say, uh, do something. Do they? Seems like only Donald and Goofy. You're gonna take a picture of me? Okie oh wait, the NPCs do. Okay, so not everybody poses on time. Ooh. How about that new beast drill? Have you been? <laughs> oh, I bet that's a great one. No, I haven't taken it yet. Cheese. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I've had enough fun with this one now. Uh, I guess we can go around 
talking to people? Sorry, no leads yet. Alright, that's fine. Wow, Twilight Town has really gotten a lot more lively with all the new NPCs. An alternate Twilight Town. Can you imagine? What's it like? Well, I've lived through the game, so yeah, kind of. I haven't seen a movie in ages. Wow, isn't that the game? What, in Union Cross? <laughs> Okay, I'm really bad at this. What is this? No, no, watch out! What? Watch out! Oh, well, is there some kind of blotch up there on the screen? I don't know. Let's check it out after the movie's over. Oh, wow! The controller actually makes a noise when you take a photo. Uh, where's the entrance? The old mansion. You just head through the conduit, and then it's a short walk through the woods. Wasn't it? Wasn't the entrance here? Hmm. Has things changed? No. Yeah. So let's go around town destroying oh. stuff. Uh, I have no idea where the. Hey, look. No, no. Your nephews. Soon as we can, we're gonna go on a big adventure, just like you and Uncle Donald. Oh my God, they're voiced. We got more gummy blocks for you to choose from. Oh, they sound gummy blocks. What? 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 What, what was that? <laughs> it's so cute. What? Seriously, that's a gummy block. Oh my goodness. Hey, help the fella out and do some shopping. I'm surprised they didn't use the new voices for the DuckTales, um, Huey, Dewey and Louie. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. We're not gonna exit the world. <laughs> What's with the barrel? Oh! Move out of the way, people! I got some destruction to do. Alright, alright. What in the world? Sora, control yourself! <laughs> So the tram actually stops when I'm touching it. A pretty interesting feature. Hey look, there's a box. Is that Chinese? It looks like a Chinese food box. Okay, how do we enter? Very, very cool that all the NPCs are still voiced. And yeah. by different people. Huh. Why? Why did they change the entrance? It used to be here! I mean, that's where I remember it from Kingdom Hearts yeah. 2. Yeah. Huh. Oh god. Yeah. 
I guess we have to go this way. This is new. Watch out, old mansion. Here I come. Yeah. Oh look, a then box. <laughs> You've been here before, Donald? I know it's kind of icky. Uh, oh, what is all this muck? What? There's heartless here? How he knows how to complain exactly when the situation is uh, horrendous. Oh wait, look! Your new enemy? Can we switch keyblades while... Oh! So if we switch keyblades in between... Oh, the costume changes as well? Oh, that's cool! Okay, so the Starlight Keyblade doesn't make you wear Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora's costume. But the special one that from Amazon does? Oh, that's very, very cool. I didn't know. <laughs> Box here. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, this is the place. There it is. What happened to the entrance here? Hey, I think that's a lucky emblem. Where? Oh. Cool. Yes. I photograph your first lucky emblem. Wait, no, this is not my first. Or maybe because I did a selfie instead. Huh. Gotcha. Thank you. Oh, wow. This thing really feels like a real camera. You know, the zoom in, zoom out, and the autofocus. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, invisible wall, okay. What's that? Huh? Hmm? What's that? Oh. What do you think they're up to? Hmm. Ah! Look! On that branch! The Heartless have him surrounded! Oh no! What's up? Yeah! Alright! Time to save our little mousy friend! Yeah, he's not a mouse, he's more of a rat, okay. <laughs> oh, this thing is long range.
So I just keep zapping? I can't control the movement? Or can I? Apparently not. Gorge, they're not making it easy for us. Okay, this is new. Oh, we can jump! Are we actually killing anything? <laughs> oh my goodness. Some of these rides really need to get used to um, being effective. There we go. Ah. Oh. Well, take care. He's so furry and cute. Parked on your head. Huh? Would you cut that up? Uh, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, maybe he wants you to pick up the fruit for him. Mm, okay, that's fine, but I can do it by myself. I just need to collect the fruit. Right then. All right, mini game time. No, no mini game. So, what are you gonna do with all this anyway? Huh? Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh. Well, okay. You be careful going home. <laughs> See you around. Uh, Next stop, the mansion. Can he come with us? Gosh dang it. That little fella sure seemed happy. Hmm. How in the world? Oh, dang. Right, the PS4 can take all these nonsensical graphics. <laughs> okay, there's a mushroom up here. Gosh dang it. Goofy, do your thing. I just want to pluck my mushrooms. Yeah! <laughs> 
All right, where's my mushroom? It's gone. All right. Are there any more goons around here? So I guess we are watering the forest. Oh, it travels along the path that we create. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, good to know. Oh god dang it, I just want to open the box! Is that too much to ask? Where are we now? Where's my box? Over here, okay. <laughs> this game is out of whack! This place is huge! Look, it's another! Let's see, got it! Nice! So I wonder how many of these um, Mickey um, emblems are there? Maybe exactly 100? You know, I kind of miss having game guides. You can find out all these trivia stuff. I see it! That building up ahead! No cutscene? I was expecting a cutscene. Oh look, it's a safe one. Parsley! Yeah, we definitely need all these items to cook with um, our dear red friend over there. Oh, now we get a cutscene. Okay. Kind of walked all the way in already, and then we finally get a cutscene. This makes no sense. <sighs> Namini? What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <sighs> but haven't you guys been in there before already? Hey there! <gasps> <gasps> Thanks for the heart attack! Oh, what? Did I scare you? Bad. So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope. Afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last hope. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. Here we go. Eh, the password was uh sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, 
I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh. Oh, man. The transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Uh, huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how'd you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any slug. <laughs> oh, and what, you do? <laughs> I know, oh, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> and these goofies on us? Then, uh, who was it that logged in? Oh, uh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup, but I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so I can't uh, run it. Which program? Uh, the transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh, it's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... <sighs> is Sora sleeping standing up? <laughs> Okay, sharing is enabled. <gasps> huh? Took a while. Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh, basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. You just made Glad everything you're easy you're following for along. Sora to understand. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. 
No pretzel for pants. <laughs> hey! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where are we out so here again? What's next? Want to go back to town? Hmm. So I really like the um three characters from Twilight Town. Um they really had a lot of uh, personality in this game, rather than Kingdom Hearts 2 and of course whichever sub-games that they appeared in. Because, I don't know, they weren't voice, and you couldn't really uh, imagine the way they speak and how they would react back then. Um, so yeah, it's pretty refreshing to see them in this new light, um, with all the new voices and all this stuff. Very, very cool. Anyway, the story has gotten a bit more um, interesting, slightly, slightly, um, with uh, kind of a, a mysterious villain behind the scenes right now. Um, we don't know whether he'll be actually on our side or on the, I don't know, the, heart, the darkness that is coming towards Sora. Uh, so yeah, things are starting to look a bit more lively again, um, with all the deep lore in Kingdom Hearts up to this point in time. And it's still a bit baffling for me because there are certain games that I've still yet to play, but I've got most of it memorized. <laughs> yes, pun intended. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, we're going to travel more to uh, within Twilight Town and see... How we can actually extract Sora, uh, no, not Sora, extract Roxas out of Sora. <laughs> um, and see whether Roxas is uh, his own uh, entity. Um, but I, I'm feeling that it's more like uh, Ventus within Sora rather than Roxas within Sora. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next adventure of Kingdom Hearts 3. Until then, bye!